what is happening metasites so i'm just taking time out of my day to share a few thoughts um with especially the men this is probably not a video for the women i know that a few older women have been for some reason following me on my channel they've kind of misunderstood i guess what i'm currently about and i'm just more or less taking time to um get by on life on my own terms it's not like i'm going to be able to help everybody i'm not in a position as a filmmaker and as a man to give life advice to people of all different um beliefs i mean i have helped people in the past i just don't have the, um, I guess you could say the wisdom or the experience to help anyone in the financial side of things, like, I'm going to be 40 in a few years, <clears throat> let me put things into perspective, okay, I'm 37, I don't have a girlfriend, I am currently seeking to find a nice girl but at right now at this stage i i have my doubts i'm not exactly sure um the dating sphere i know that a lot of youtube celebrities like the hermit they've been saying that well feminism and um hypergamy is actually on the increase it's it's a different world since uh, a few years ago. I live up in northern Canada. I'm not America. I'm not an American, but all, although the um, old ways, like people are holding on to traditions, there's a lot of people in my generation that have actually put that on the back burner. So I've seen there's a lot of heavy influence in the west and as you can see as i'm just scrolling i wish these random items i'm looking at yeah every year it seems like women are i guess giving in more and more to um i guess liberalism feminism um there's a lot of infidelity uh less values there's there's a lot of things which men they really have to be careful about it's generally not the best time at all to be going out to uh, a bar or just visiting some girl or woman at a nightclub especially since um current rise of uh unemployment and also rise of um divorce the divorce rate you know women uh can now be entitled to take a man's wealth like in an, in the case of a divorce a woman could actually take a man's resources and uh life savings i mean it, i think that's what actually happened to uh jason if anyone's actually watched my previous video, I was talking about how um, Jason, the, the Green Ranger from the 1990s, the, the hit show Power Rangers, it was, uh, it was a part of my childhood. It, it taught me a lot of lessons about self-defense and self-respect, uh, how to basically take care of yourself in an unforgiving world. I know that a lot of kids these days, they need to have role models uh, to look up to. And it's a really sad thing that uh, now that Jason, at age 49, he, he died. I think he took his own life after a recent uh, divorce. And I think that was one of the main causes. I don't have all the facts. <clears throat> but this is something which a lot of men now, they have to be... Uh, really mindful about and, and I'm not kidding I would have liked to have found a nice girl just maybe settle down and have a kid but 
as I'm seeing more and more, there's a lot of things that make me think twice about going out on the weekends. People ask me, oh yeah, you're not such a bad looking guy. How come you're single? And I used to be pretty particular about what I was looking for before I was in film school. Um, I still think about pursuing filmmaking again. If if I had a a partner in crime, I guess uh, she would probably have to be um, more or less open to the idea of traveling. Now, around here, a lot of women here, they just... I don't know how to say this without making this sound bad, but a lot of women who are local, they do not they do not uh, take care of themselves very well. They're, they're comforted with the idea of staying here um, and not traveling. <laughs> I personally, I, I need to get out of here because I cannot find work, but some people here actually think that this is a, a good place to live. I guess that might be the case if you have family, but um, not for my not for myself. I was uh, studying filmmaking, and maybe when I leave here, I'll probably have better luck. But so far, um, yeah, I've been following a lot of Christian YouTubers that have put me in the. Uh, um, it, it it's definitely open my eyes to see what's really going on in the world and women these days even though I like the idea of dating um, the game has changed the manosphere a lot of men are opting out of dating altogether because there's tinder there's um, all these sites the dating sites it it's been a low success rate for men especially good men of uh, value. They can't find a good value woman or they, they find it harder to, to find good quality friends offline. I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't bother to date um, for a few years. And but people are going to ask, oh, how come you haven't been dating for so long? That's There's your answer. I've just been more or less focused on um, my own personal affairs, trying to find employment and starting a side hustle in this economy, it's, that's something which I really need to think twice about, so for the men, if you're going out, planning on going out on the weekends, it's very important to understand that with this economy and the nature of um, female nature, it's really important that you do not take any chances. As you can see, I'm, um, trying to save some items for later. I might get back to it. But men, they have to take care of themselves first and foremost. And I'm not just talking about appearance sake. Uh, I'm also talking about making sure that you have your values, um, intact so that you don't mess up when you're out there dating. You don't want to um, compromise. You do not want to uh, go out into the dating world not knowing what it is that you're looking for uh, in a serious future spouse and that you don't have um, any means of... Uh, like, you won't be able to uh, fall into the pitfalls of um, having an unwanted pregnancy or getting an STD. That's another thing. That's, that's basically what it comes down to. A lot of women, they're, they brag about um, the amount of sexual partners that a woman has. And they, uh, as I said before, uh, these days a woman takes pride in... Um, the the amount of uh, men that she's been able to sleep with, and that's that's the um, culture that's existing right now, and this is why men um, these days they really have to be super careful, 
and they have to do whatever they need to. I guess if it means taking a few years uh, away from the dating sphere, getting involved into religion, if that's going to make you a better man, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but it's it's definitely helped me out to play it safe. I'll just put it that way. I don't have all the answers, but when it comes to finding good quality women, uh, you're definitely not going to be able to find them at a bar or at a or at a nightclub. Um, your most important um, focus right now is to work on yourself, develop your skills, uh, your your resume, uh, your social skills, make sure that you don't leave your channels blank at least because that's that's a sure sign of failure in the long run and a lot of people, there's a lot of people who are doing stupid decisions, they're not thinking long term so this is what men have to do now, they gotta think long term and uh, not jump to uh, doing things on a whim, it's it's definitely not wise to do that. Men, they need to think about long-term goals and investing and just overall listening to wiser men who have been um, through the fire. They've been uh, seeing what is out there and in human nature. Andrew Tate, he even openly admitted that women are hypergamous in nature and that men, especially coming from a humble background if you're not uh, making five or six figure income you have to be super careful not to be uh, taken advantage of because these women um, many of them are indeed gold diggers and you have to watch out you have to be super on your guard and you have to make sure that um, that little voice inside your head that conscience um, that tells you that um, this person probably can't be trusted, it's usually not wrong. It's usually not wrong. Online, it's harder to get a read of people, but you can sense it when a woman is um, promiscuous, I guess, the longer you spend out there. But you really want to be able to follow wiser men who have been around the block, who understand how to play the game, and you want to be able to uh, take note, you know. As my dad once said, um, if you make all the mistakes in life, you're not going to live to see 50. So, you know, he he was wise enough. I mean, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but, I mean, he's he's had an ongoing relationship with him and my mother. They've been together for over 35 years, so... Um, it's rare, but people, they have to, yeah, they have to focus on values. If they don't have any, um, no matter how good you think your relationship with your uh, current girlfriend is, it's not going to last too long unless you have some type of values um, in play. Otherwise, it's just going to lead to chaos, and ultimately, it could end up in divorce, something which... Um, that guy Jason I think he ended up taking the best out of him you know a woman can actually do that to a man and leave him with heartbroken with nothing so this is, uh, this is why I had to make this video and I'm going to end it off by saying to the men please be on your guard and understand um, that you have to love yourself, put put yourself first and foremost before being able to introduce uh, a partner, somebody that you can trust, and understand that you got to play your cards close to the chest, and that's something which it's going to save you. It's going to save your life down the road, and yeah. That's that's all I really want to say about that for now. And um, thanks for tuning in. And as always, stay crafty. God bless.